It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Digitalic. I'm a Grandmaster Ranked Online Risk Player. And today for you, I have Episode 6 of my Rank Up series, my Grandmaster Rank Up series, where I take my man, Ranky McUpperton, as high up on the FFA leaderboard as we possibly can, playing in other people's lobbies and various settings across the game, not just ranking up with caps. And today, we're back on Classic Fixed, because on the previous game, we had a very, very, um, very, very short game. We did get the win. It's a great game to watch, but I feel like playing another Caps, another uh, Classic Fix game. So, it's my turn, so I'm going to play my turn. Um, whew, I've got a lot of position. I've got a lot of material in Australia. Do I have an easy take outside of it, though? Okay, I'm gonna go for Australia. This could, I could, I, this could bite me in the ass because everyone know, knows what Australia is like. I'm not even gonna let these players out. Well, I will, but not, not under these circumstances. Actually, I don't even think I need to let players out. I think I can afford to, to hit those those deuces. Okay, so purple uh, doesn't put in in Australia, which is good news for me. If green is still the is is still the unknown here, so let's talk about the settings today. So we're playing um, classic fixed uh, world domination auto setup six second turn timer expert AI, which are neutral today. So if we get a bot, they will not attack. Uh, fixed cards, balance blitz, dice, alliances are on, fog off, blizz are off, and portals are off today and I'm in the second position playing as my rank up account Ranky McUpperton currently ranked as a Grand Master with 23,114 FFA points with a 25 uh, sorry a 26 uh, to 23 win-loss ratio okay so what does green do do they put in Australia I think I'm gonna be the Australian turtle in this game it's been a while since I've played in Australia position but Really, I just think it's my best bet here. Okay, so if Green had punched that with that eight stack and came down, that could have been scary. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like Green doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, they've got a very, very disorganized set of troops here. Maybe I do let purple out. Yeah, but that's gonna take too that's gonna take too many turns. There's only six troops there. I I just I don't think I do it. I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary. Looks like blue is going for the Europe play. Okay. Uh, let's talk about who are we playing today. So in the first position from Germany, we've got Leslie Blitz playing as red. In the third position, we've got General Infinity playing as purple from a no flag specified. In the fourth position, we've got Kirby Hirauka wow. playing as blue from the United Kingdom. Um, in the fifth position from Germany also, uh-oh, we've got two German players. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not accusing them of, of teaming, but it's always something to just keep in the back of your head, making your decisions. Uh, playing as green, we have Florian Hager. And in the sixth and final position, we've got Beads, 1980, from the United Kingdom, playing as white. Two, United, two UK players, too. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put everything in Australia. I'm going to get a, a take exterior. I'm actually, it doesn't look like I have a road out. Uh, I don't know if Blue is going to give me a road out. Maybe they will. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. See if Lou gives me a road out with those troops. I'm not gonna take Australia too quickly. I mean... But I definitely will take it on my first trade. Blue does give me a road out. <clears throat> Who do I need to make an alliance with? does in Alaska. <clears throat> if they're going to do anything at all in Alaska. Who wants an alliance? Happily oblige. Oh, look, we send hearts to each other at the exact same time. They invite me to attack their territory. Okay. Red holds South America. And they have a lot of lot of troops in in Asia, which is good because there looks like they might get sandwiched between North America and Africa. Yeah, as a show of good faith to Blue, I'm going to attack as much as I can. Tell them to attack my territory if they need to. Who am I? I'm pink. I'm going to fortify. Should I give purple a road out here? No, I'm not going to do it. It doesn't make it doesn't just doesn't make sense to me. There's just not enough material. Okay, where's my Starbucks? Right here. Man, that's getting cold. Okay, what's my... Okay, I do have a big set, so I think I'm gonna use that to finish Australia, and then Garden Siam. Okay, green puts in an Asia. They don't really have a continent here, or they don't really have an, any kind of semblance of a continent. Uh, very weak positioning, not much organization in their play here. Punching, rolling a five on two for really no reason. I guess they want 12 territories, but okay. I 
I think I'm not going to take my... I'm going to trade, put all my troops here. And then I'm going to try and get a, a take with this three stack. And I think as a show of good faith, if it's if there's a two... If there's a if there's a two stack left over, I might just I, just, I might just kill it uh, for blue. Okay. Red uncontested in South America with a very very. Weak hold on it, but I think with their trade, they did did set in. So they, yeah. Mm. Now I don't even have to murder the two stack uh, for blue. I think I'm making an alliance with red. Okay, cool. So green just kind of expanding with a kind of a you know no organization as it seems in their game. Thirty two troops. <clears throat> What does white do here? Well, it doesn't look like they're going to finish Africa because they're not, they didn't set themselves up to. There's no point for them really breaking red here and opening up red's army. So I guess they're just waiting for the right opportunity, maybe another, maybe a trade uh, to finish Africa. I'm going to make an alliance with white. Red gets a take in Asia and from the Middle East and passes. Maybe it's time to take Australia. We're definitely going to slider blitz this if we're going to. So we need five attacking troops. Lose one. Lose two. Lose nothing. Good. Perfect. <clears throat> so green is staring me down with a seven stack with the trade, but that won't be enough to hit me in Australia unless they got a 10 trade with a plus two in China. That would give them uh, 3 plus 10 is 13 plus 15, so that would give them 22, and they can make a, a low probability roll on me. But I don't think, I don't think green's that bad. Well, I don't think they're good from what I'm seeing, but I don't think that, the, that they're setting up to take me in Australia. But you, you never know. Stranger things have happened in this game. 
Looks like they're going to punch my two stack, though. If they combine these two armies, that's scary because then they would have a 14 stack with a f with five cards. So definitely with the ability to trade uh, to get a you know they could high probability of a 10 trade, but I don't think this is gonna I don't think that's gonna happen. The problem with this though is it with there's these two seven stacks here is it. It might make it, it's going to make it difficult for me to get cards. But we'll see. I'm going to try an alliance with green. Because they just seem like a novice player. Novice players are very unpredictable and they can, a lot of the time, it happens very often where a novice player will just randomly hit you and you know, almost as like a suicide hit you for no really obvious reason. If I could get an alliance going, maybe I'll minimize any chance of that. I just, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so the white player um, inches closer to finishing Africa. They only have one more stack in Madagascar to, to clean up. It is a two stack, though, so they'll have to roll a four on two next turn to get that. To make that happen. Red's really strong with 50 troops. I really don't want to open up Red's 14 stack. Yeah, but I need a card, so. Maybe, maybe, oh, look, wild card. Maybe I do get murdered by red. You never know. I don't think three cards is quite worth it. Uh, but that's the thing, a lot of people say, oh, no, don't worry, you're not gonna get hit, you're not, you know, you're not worth it. It's, it, the, the math is wrong. But you got to understand that a lot of players will make those moves when the math is wrong anyway. So it's like, it, I don't, what's more important to me isn't whether the math is right or wrong. It's whether or not this player is going to actually make that move, regardless of the math, right? So if red sets in here uh, and gets a 10 trade, they could potentially kill me. It would, be, it would be close, but they could kill me. But I only have three cards, right? So that's where I think I'm safe. I think I'm... Green might, might force me to zero card here. Let's hope... Yeah, so I do have a big trade, so if I survive this... I'm going to use that trade. I don't think I'm going to take a card. I don't think I'm going to hit that three stack. So I really um, need to sur survive red here, and I think I'm going to, especially with this three stack here now. But I'm definitely trading. Okay, so white breaks blue in Europe. Good. That's good for me. That's early aggression. And we'll see how blue reacts to that. Okay. So it looks like red isn't isn't gonna isn't gonna kill me. I, obviously, I, I I knew that, but you know, I worry sometimes, guys. Okay, so let's use the trade. Let's just lock this in.
Yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna take a card. Okay, blue sets in, gets six trade. They got broken by white, what do they do? What do they do? I think they just retake. You don't need to break them because they're already broken. Okay, it looks like they're gonna do a split guard and kind of rely on, uh, rely on red's 14 stack for protection there. Purple should punch white stack in North America. That'd be a great play. Force white to get cards in South America or to zero card. And also, there is a card for them in Madagascar. What are you doing? Okay, I don't just, I don't think green really has any clue what they're doing. Move them all. Okay. Fine, leave a two stack there. I will hit that for a card. I could even potentially kill green for four cards, but I don't think I'm going to. Especially if that won't set me in in turn and leave me potentially weak with five cards and with Big stack, okay, whoa, here we go. So the six on the two, okay, finish Africa. Okay, that's smart. I bet they're gonna bring it all into the 39 and threat guard it from Egypt. I am the Australian turtle. Attack with five troops, lose nothing. Oh, purple, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta punch that white too, buddy. Make an alliance with purple. You really should attack white. That's a really good move to attack white because that'll create tension here on all these fronts. Oh, red broke broke blue. Okay, blue's spending a lot of time in draft. Are they one of those players that gets broken and then they quit? That's just the worst thing you can do as a beginner novice player. Okay, it doesn't look like they're still here, which is good. Are they going to punch red back? Maybe Maybe just remove red from here completely. Their stack isn't pointed at you, so you better do something, Blue. Come on. Yes, you you gotta hit this one too. You gotta hit that. You gotta take out this one as well. That doesn't make sense. You gotta clear that out. There's no no reason. And look, you left red out with an avenue to to hit you to break you back. Maybe Blue's gonna do it for you, and you get lucky. But that makes no sense. If you're gonna hit a 13 stack. Okay. So now red is relegated to taking cards in North America. They can they can take cards in Africa, but that's going to create a lot of that's going to create a lot of more more tension because you're 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 actually you actually have to break white's continent plus you have to open up their for, their massive 42 stack. So the only realistic option is to get cards in North America. Purple should attack white. So white gets a card off of blue. Now, green's holding five cards. 
34 troops. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to pass on the kill, to be honest with you. I'm gonna pass. Red should hit this too. Okay, so Red's expand is. It... Man. Purple has five cards as well. 35 troops. I'm just. I'm gonna pass on the kill. and keep turtling in Australia. Green didn't accept my alliance request. Neither did white. Quick roll call of green and white. Make sure they're still here. They are. Purple, hit that white two stack. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> so there's some tension brewing here. I mean, the only thing purple can really do to stop this right now is to is make a suicide play by by hitting these stacks. Um, unfortunately, they're caught between a rock and a hard place. If I was in purple's position, I would probably I would probably just single stack in North America and try and keep my try and keep my uh, armies up here in the Northern Territories and not make kind of aggressive moves towards red. Imagine if green slams that stack into me. It's really annoying that green is uh, is splitting and leaving leaving three stacks everywhere. But you know it is what it is. And I'm just in, I'm in full tur turtle mode here. I think it's good. I think a non-aggressive and uh, a conservative turtle approach right now is a smart play. I think there is a lot of tension here. There's tension, and there's tension here, uh, which I think is going to boil over, and I'll be in a very neutral position to take advantage of that. Um, however, it could the game could get could become balanced, uh, and could be, you know, it could it can it can become an ordered game with a stable board. Doesn't look like it's going to though. Um, and I could find myself in the weakest position because I have the weakest continent. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What is white doing? This is odd. What is white doing? Okay, so white retakes Africa after punching blue a bit in North America and, and then misses their fortification window. Red puts more troops in North America and continues to get cards in blue, in blue purple's face. I wonder if purple's going to make a suicide play here. I don't want to hit this three instead of this two to keep, keep to make sure I have a line this way in case this does go down. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll hit the two. Lose two troops. So now, if something goes down here in in North America, I have to go all the way around. 
all the way around the world here, basically. Okay, so what does purple do? Do they hit? Do they hit red? It doesn't look like they're going to. Are they splitting? I don't know, about, I don't know if a split's a good idea. But... Okay, so blue player sets in, gets the 10. What do they do with that? Do they retake Europe and chill? Do they suicide into white? You never know. Do they break white? <coughs> no, it looks like they're going to split guard. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I have a set? No. Okay, so they're going to do a three-point southern guard in Europe. I don't mind this play. I mean, as long as you don't get slammed, one of your stacks slammed by green. <laughs> See, this is why purple needed to take out this territory, because we can get, we can basically, white would be card blocked right now, other than smashing a 28 stack. And one important thing is for me, it looks like, I hope green hits this with that three and opens me up. But I gotta be careful not to close my stack uh, because this is a, a volatile game for sure. And I, I need to be in a, I don't wanna have to wait two turns to activate an army. <laughs> they lose an 89% roll or 83%, whatever it is. That's that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna attack here, then I'm trying to get a, you know, I'm gonna get cards here as many as I can before I actually have to block, block, block off this road but I think I'll be okay. okay as I take cards as I'm going up here uh, green is going to for sure uh, take some of those territories back opening me up again hit this purple hit this red come on red has a bit of an interest though in this surviving as well Oh, green bought it out with four cards. Oh my god, does white hit that 28 stack and feed feed green to me? That would be that would be something else. So they're not going to. So, yeah. Green quit. And this does create one problem for me in that I can't rely on the on uh, green opening me up again as I'm taking cards in Asia. Oh, <laughs> white missed their fortify again. They only got a two stack over. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my God, is it worth me punching all the way in and killing purple for four cards? I don't think it is because I got to punch through one, two, three, four, five, nine, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, so no, it's not, but it's unfortunate because it's close. Hopefully purple sets in here and just slams all those troops into red. I think that's what I do at this point. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here we are. Where's purple going now? Okay, so they punch one of red stacks. They don't break them. I, get, I guess it's like a, they don't want to full commit on, on, the, on a suicide. But they do want to get a little bit of revenge. Okay. Okay, so I've got a big trade. Wow. This board is getting juicy. <laughs> Blue.
flu opened up white as well there. What does white do? Oh my god. Okay, I was hoping they didn't, they were gonna suicide into me. Okay, so white is gonna take, take the green bot. Uh, for four cards. And then what? Imagine if they stop there. Oh my god, run out of time. No, they're just gonna have enough time. Oh my god, it's gonna be so close. They got it. Wow. <laughs> that would have been a feed and a half. Red would have gotten it. Okay. Down to 26 troops plus how many trade in? So that wasn't a big loss for white. That wasn't a, that wasn't, the math was definitely wrong on that one. Um, I think they're down 20. I think it started with about 52 troops, maybe 54. So they're down at least 20 troops net. Okay, so well, okay, so who do I kill here? <laughs> I think I chill, but I come out of Australia. I think I just let these people kill each other. Yeah. Screw Australia, don't need any more. Just let these people let these people hit each other. Everyone in here seems to be in suicide mode. I don't think I need to try and run run the run the board. So how many po troops am I against? So 30, 60 there, so 82. <coughs> so I've almost, I've got about 40% of the troops on the board right now. Red quits. Oh, the white player trade white trades. That's too bad. They kill blue. For, they kill pur purple for three cards. I'm gonna win this game. And I, I'm killing blue. Then I think I kill red. Or I kill purple. Yeah, I kill purple before red. really kill purple at the moment.
Okay. Now I kill purple, then I kill red. Ugh. Yeah, I win this game. I think that's game. I have twice White's troops all of the board. I have more cards than them. No set. That looked like bot movement. Nope, they're still here. Okay, so they hit my stack. I still have more than twice their troops. They gotta start they gotta start moving here. They gotta break, they gotta take as many continents as they can. Not moving quick enough. Okay, and this is gonna be another classic fixed win. I love it. Two relatively short games. This one was twice was twice as long as the last game, but 40 42 minutes. Uh actually well, it will be probably 47 once this is over. Okay, so this is a GG. I think I have enough to get it here. Good game. Well played. And there you have it. Episode six, I think, uh, is another win. So let's guess guess the rank of my opponents. I'm gonna give white beginner. I'm actually gonna write this down so I know what I said. White. Yeah. Oh my god, my pen doesn't even work. Okay, so I'm gonna give white beginner. Um, Man, I'm so tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. I was tossing and turning in bed all, all night. So I, just, I, just, I keep, I can't even remember what other colors were there. Okay, white beginner, green definitely beginner. Actually, green I'm gonna give novice. Um, blue I'm gonna give expert. Red I'm gonna give beginner. Red was intermediate. I forgot to. Say purple. Okay, so blue is a master. I said expert. Close. I was right on um, green. And I, th I, <laughs> I don't even remember what I said for white. Uh, oh, I said white. I think I said white beginner. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I say green beginner. I'm all over the place. I need sleep, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly, let's go look at the ranking. Two solid wins in a row. Wow. I've got about 800 FA points there, so we're at 23,943. And we should anchor 27 and 23 now. Yes, 27 and 23. Fantastic. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, um, help me out, please. If you don't mind, smash that like button for me. Help me, That helps me with the YouTube algorithm, as you all know. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so, so perhaps you and I can get better at this game together. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.